Hello everyone, and welcome to the first video of my new channel, Chromex Speedruns. This first video will be encompassing the basics of speedrunning and will act as an introduction to the subject. Before we start to learn the details of speedrunning, we need to ask a question. What is speedrunning? In my own terms, I'd say that speedrunning is completing a certain objective in a game in the shortest length of time possible. For a more detailed description, Wikipedia states that speedrunning is a playthrough, or recording thereof, of a whole video game or a selected part of it, performed with the intent of completing it as fast as possible, optionally under certain prerequisites, and mainly for the purposes of entertainment and competition. There are many different types of speedruns. These include real-time attacks, single-segment, segmented, and tool-assisted speedruns. A real-time attack run, or RTA for short, is where the player plays through the game or their selected section in one sitting. They are, however, allowed to restart the system and load a save game, such as in Ocarina of Time where reloading your save file takes you back to Kakiri Forest. This is helpful, but forbidden in our next type of speedruns, single segment runs. Single segment runs are very similar to RTA runs, in that you must play through the whole run in one sitting. However, unlike RTA runs, you must never turn off the console during the run, meaning you cannot quit and reload a save game. Now we are getting into the more niche type of runs. Segmented runs are when the player will play a game in segments, such as from the start of Majora's Mask till you learn the Song of Time. They will then upload their runs in these segments. This allows them to play a segment over and over until they are happy with it, upload that part, and then start playing the next segment. Finally, Tool Assisted Spread Runs, or TAS for short, are when the player uses the assistance from an emulator, hence the name, and play the game frame by frame. This means that they can get very precise movement, allowing for the fastest run possible. They also take advantage of save states, where you can save the game in one position and reload back to that exact position whenever you like. These types of speedruns are all split up into different categories, most notably 100% and 80%. These are fairly self-explanatory. 100% runs aim at finishing the game with maximum completion. They require the player to collect all of the finer items throughout the game. Any percent runs are very different from 100% runs. Their sole purpose is to finish the game as fast as possible with disregard for in-game items. There are, generally, no prerequisites for any percent runs. As this series is dedicated to Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask speedrunning, I'll explain the various categories exclusive to each game. In Ocarina of Time, there are Child Dungeons, where you complete the first three dungeons as a child. Medallion, Stones and Trials, or MST, is where you complete all the dungeons and temples that give you a medallion or a stone at the end, as well as completing the Trials in Ganon's Castle. Two different categories sprout in from any percent are No Wrong Warp and No Wrong Warp or Bottle of Adventure where you're not allowed to use these two glitches to complete the game. In Majora's Mask, there are, other than 180%, 10 masks, 20 masks, and all masks categories. These three categories start from a race file. This is a save file already created with 101 rupees in the bank, the Ocarina of Time, the Song of Time, the Song of Healing, and the Deku Mask. 10 masks and 20 masks, unlike other categories, finish when you're holding the 10th or 20th mask above your head. All masks still finishes when you defeat the final boss.